Hi, and welcome back to the video blog. I'm here in my kitchen with my roommates to talk about an important subject. All four of us are women in the church, and there are also men in the church, but we're women in the church who are single. And even if we start to get older, say we turn 30 or 40, we want to make sure that people know that we're not like messed up, or we're not half a person, and we're not like some kind of weird type of woman who can't seem to settle down. We're just whole people that God made that are perfectly fine to minister and do things, not just with the youth group, um, not just with women's ministries, but in all kinds of ways as normal whole people. Um, we want to just kind of talk for a few minutes about the stigma and the stereotype and the errancy of it in the church today around single women and single men. This is half of a sandwich cookie. Delicious cookies, but this is just half. This is not you. If you're single, you are not half a cookie floating around in the universe trying to find the other half of the cookie. You are a whole cookie, if anything, not half. You don't have to find the other half. You are whole. That said, I think you're more like something else entirely. We're going to talk for a minute about brownies and ice cream. I find that both go very well together. Sometimes it's better with both of them, and sometimes it's just better separately. Erica, what do you think is better? I think it depends on the day. Erica says it depends on the day. I agree. When the brownies just came out of the oven and they're all gooey and warm and delicious, I just want to eat the brownie by itself. And then sometimes on a hot summer day, I just want ice cream by itself. We have visual examples. Look, we've got, we've got our brownies. Mm, brownies. Erica, will you get the ice cream? She especially, when we, especially when the ice cream is really good ice cream. We have a New York Super Fudge Chunk. Look at this. Mmm, ice cream. Really good by itself. Sometimes with the brownie, it's just too much. Let's be honest. So, now that we've covered that, that, number one, you're not half of something. You're a whole something. Number two, you could be just fine by yourself, or you could compliment someone else and be perfect together. But you don't have to. My third point, track with me here is if you are feeling kind of somehow not whole. Somehow you're feeling like there's something missing and you need, you feel like there's a hole in your heart and you just need it to be filled in. If you're missing something and you're not whole, no amount of ice cream is going to fix it. No amount of the other sex is going to fix it. It's like having a brownie that is missing an ingredient. Say you're missing an egg or you're missing the water. Or what if you're missing the whole brownie mix? Nothing about adding ice cream to it is going to fix that. Please, please don't try that. Don't say, I, I feel empty. I feel like I'm missing something. I'm going to go over here and get the ice cream, the other sex, and, and put them together because it's going to be a huge mess for everybody. It's going to make the ice cream taste nasty. Brownie's still nasty. Don't do it. If you feel like you're not whole, go to Jesus who makes all people whole. And actually, Erica can quote the scripture verse for us that sums it up really well. One sec. His divine power has given us everything we need for life and godliness through our knowledge of him, and he has saved us for his own glory and goodness. Okay. We have everything we need for godliness. We don't need uh, a husband or a wife. Um, we don't need anything. We are whole. We have everything we need for godliness. If you don't feel whole, go to Jesus. He'll make you into the most gooey, delicious, wonderful, warm, hot, steaming brownie. And then maybe someday you'll find someone that compliments you, like ice cream. Maybe you won't. Either way, you're fine. You're fine. You can minister fine. You can love Jesus fine. You're going to go to heaven fine. And God uses both types of people. So people who aren't single, you listen up. We're perfectly fine. People who are single, you're doing great. And um, turn to Jesus for your wholeness. Okay, thanks for watching. Thanks, Erica, for being our guest. <laughs> okay, come back again.